with some unique teachers on your gazelle. We start by showing you the thumb pulse. If at any point during the workout you want to check your heart rate, you can simply place your thumb over the red pulse button and hold, and your heart rate will come up. Another feature is the hydraulic arm. This arm provides hydraulic resistance and is for advanced exercisers only. You want to take the pin out and it slides right in. You need to do the same on the other side. And again, this is for advanced exercisers only. The other feature on your gazelle is that you use it holds. You can take your foot pedal, tap it right on up, just like that. You want to do the same on the other side. Pull one foot behind and it pulls right up and do all set. and welcome to the Gazelle Total Body Workout. Let's get started. Put your hands on the back and carefully step up one leg and then the other. Transfer your hands to the front and just start to move your legs. We're just going to get used to that motion. Back and forth. Sliding back, sliding forward. Here we go. Now as you feel more comfortable, I want you to take your hands up and let your arms go along with that motion. Good job. As we're working, we're going to let those shoulders rotate forward and back because this total body and that shoulder rotation is going to bring in a lot of muscles to our trunk. Good job. Keep going. So you're nice and easy. Just a warm up. Let's do one more set of eight right here. Eight. Seven. Nice. And it's a nice smooth motion. It's low impact workout. Great. Four. Three. Good. Two more. Now as we're here on this next set, I want you to take your weight back on your heels a little bit. Now, we want to think about getting our toes up, but your toes are not going to be able to stay up the whole entire time. So get your weight back on your heels. This is going to get us ready for when we lean back a little further. Eight more to go. Eight. Good. Seven. Good job. Six. Weight back just a little on those heels. Four to go. And three. And two. Good. Now we're going to come forward. I want you to come up on those tiptoes. Good. Side to side. Shoulders back, taller and lifted. Come on. One more set right here. Eight. Good. Seven. Feels good, right? Six. Keep going. Five. Nice. Four. Getting that nice stretch as we get going. Two. Good. Now come back to your heels again. Good. Fifteen. Nice. Fourteen. Start to get those shoulders going. Thirteen. Good job. Twelve. 11. Keep going. And this is also getting us ready for when we do bigger strides. We want to be able to rock through the feet. So we're getting that foot motion in now by taking our weight back. Good. Four more right here. Four. Three. Keep going. Two. Okay, we're going to go up on those toes. Are you ready? 16. 15. 14. Good. Shoulders keep going back. 12. Keep going. Now make sure you're taking those legs back too. Get a nice little glute squeeze there as you go. Eight to go. Eight. Good. Seven. Six. Nice job. Five. Now make sure your shoulders don't come up on your ears. You really want to keep them down. Pulling the elbows along the ribs. Two. Good. One last set right here. Back to those heels. Eight. Seven. Now you can start to experiment a little bit if you're feeling confident. And start to bring your weight back just a little bit. Good. Keep your weight back on your heels. If you don't feel ready for that yet, stay more upright. Eight more right here. Eight. Good. Seven. I am feeling warm already. I hope you are too. Five. Come on, up off the couch. If you're still sitting there, it's time to jump in and get going. Three. Two. Good. Last set. Up on those toes. Tall. Got a little extra cap work here because we're up on all five toes. Balance up there. Five. Come on. Push and pull. Get those shoulders going. Good. Two. And this is a great machine to pick up a nice wide range of motion. Front to back to the hips. It's hard to get that on any other, any other workout. But we definitely get here. Four to go. Three. Good. Two. Now I want you to come back to that original stride that we did. And stay right here for a minute. We're going to start to change. 
change the rhythm. We're going to go into a single, single double. So give me four more here. Three more here. Two. Are you ready? Single, single, double. Four. Are you ready? Single, single, and double. Single, single, and double. Good. Single, single, double. A little pose right there. Right? Keep going. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Good. So it's a nice isometric hold right there. Now we're going to squeeze this spin back. Seven, good. Six. That's it. Now also your arms need to push forward and pull back. It's all body. Arms and legs. One more. Now just single hold. Eight. Good. Seven. That's it. Six. Come on, push up into those eight ranges. Five. Four. Oh, it feels good. Three. Stretch out. Two more. One. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Good. You're going to find as you go through the workout, you're going to get more and more confident, and you can go deeper into those motions. Come on, single, single, double. Keep going. Good. Hold. Come on, eight more here. Really push that one arm forward, push the other back. Seven, good. Six. Excellent. Five. Keep working. Four. Three more. Stick with this. Two. You ready for those eight big holds? Eight. Seven. Come on, get up there. Six. Good. Five. Keep going. Four more. Nice. Three. Good. Two. We're going to go one more step through those. Single, single, double. Last time. Single, single, double. Good. Seven. Now, if you're going through this workout and you just feel like it's too hard, you're working too hard, can't catch your breath, you can just take your hands down. Do the same thing anytime during the workout, right? So just because I have my arms up, you don't need to. Take it down wherever you need to. It's your workout. Come on, six more. Good. Five, keep going. Four. Three. Nice. Two. Eight big holes. Last time. Eight. Seven. Six. Good. Five, come on, elbow right back to the ribs. Four, three, nice, two more. Now remember how we were back on the heels in the beginning? I want you to come back again. But this time we're going to really start to lean back a little further forward. So as you go and progress on this piece of equipment, you're going to find that you can go back further and further. If you're only here today, that's fine. Tomorrow, you might be back a little further. As we're back there, we're going to start rotating those shoulders. Good. Four. And you see how my elbow comes right down to my ribs. I don't want me out here. Right down here. Good. Come on. Eight more. Eight. Close down. Seven. Rotate those shoulders. Six. Good. You can feel the back of the shoulders, the back. Biceps working. Great. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Two. Now we're going to do the reverse motion. You're going to start to lean over that bar to the front. And again, today you might be here. Tomorrow you may be able to go a little further. Only go as far as you're comfortable. You're still going to get a great workout. Push it, push it. Push the arms straight, one and then the other. Eight. Good job. Seven. Push the arms. Six. Body is nice and tight through the abs. Four. Excellent. Three. Good. Two more to go. And we're coming to the back. Here we go. Sixteen. Fifteen. Come on, 14, sit back there. 13, it's like you're driving that big piece of equipment, right? Big ears. Come on, pull it back. Good job. Or some little can can kicks in the air, right? Come on, eight, seven, six. You should be having fun right now because I know I am. It's an easy workout. Oh, I didn't have to go anywhere to do it. Right? It's right here at home. Two, and one, take it over to the front. Push forward. Seven. Lean forward to your position of comfort. Arm to arm. And it just feels great. Roll through the shoulders. Keep going. Two. Come on. One more step right here. Go, go. Eight. Seven. Nice smooth motion. Six. Five. Keep going. Four more. And three more. Nice job. Two. And one, and bring it up. Bring it up. Okay, we're going to go into what I call
have a balanced strike. See if you can let go with one hand, and then see if you can let go with the other. Now today might not be the day for you to do this. If you are just new here, keep your hands here. We're just going to work on isolating the legs a little bit more. So you can keep your fingers just off for balance, but we're going to really focus those legs. Good. Four push and pull. And this is where again we get that great range of motion. Squeeze to the back. Push to the front. Eight more here. Come on. Eight all legs. Seven. And it really is a great balance check. Make sure you know that your weight is symmetrically or evenly placed. Come on, four more. So this is our lower intensity angle. And we're going to start working a little harder. Put your hands back up on the grips. Now I want you to take a big stride. As big as you can make it. Big legs. Tall body. And legs are fairly straight. Not locked out through the knees, but fairly straight. Two. One. Come on. Eight more. Eight. Good. Seven. Come on. Feel the stretch through the hips as you go. Five. Nice job. Rotate the shoulders. Four. Three, big, big, big. Two. All right, balance drive. Eight. Let go one first, and then the other seven. Or stay here, your choice. Come on, concentrate, legs, legs. Arms are there for the power walk in the air. Push and pull the legs. Two, good. Come on, one more time, right here, one more step. Eight, good. Seven, big legs, especially to the back. Squeeze, 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 right through those glutes. Four. Come on, three more to go. Don't you feel good? Come on, two. You ready? Hands back on the grips. Take it bigger again. Good. And who knows? You might be taller than you that you get this great stretch through it. Come on, big, big, big legs. Stomach is in tight. Rotate through the shoulders. Two. Come on, one more step right here. Eight. Good, seven. Keep going. Five. Nice job. Come on, four more. Three more. Two more. Right into that balance stride. Here we go. Remember, you can just keep your fingers for balance if you need it. Hands here, or you can let it go. Come on, all legs. Good job. Back and forth. Back and forth. Good. Eight more right here. Come on. Eight. Ah. Uh -huh. Seven. Feel the beat. Right? Keep going. Four more. Good. Three more. And we're coming up on one more set. Two. Back to those hand grips we go. Big, big lift. Fifteen. This is our last set, so let's make these good. Good. Thirteen. Rotate the shoulders. Feel through that whole torso. Good. Keep moving. Come on. It's a great quad straining. Right? Heart air for your heart, heart lungs working, arms, legs, everything. Keep going. Four more. Three, bounding. Open fields we go. Two. And one. Take it down. Good. All right. Go back to that balance stride. Now from the balance stride, we're going to see if we can double up those feet. Okay? So we're going to start making it a little smaller. Now you can start here and keep a little small flutter kick or shuffle. But what we're going to see as you get better, as you get a little more advanced, see if you can keep those feet small motion. Now for me, I like to look at that front bar. A little challenge for myself. I see if I can keep those pedals behind that horizontal bar. Come on, eight more. Eight. I always think it's like those football drills, right? See them go through the tires? It's like our own little personal huddle here in the living room. Come on. Small, tight, tight. Two. All right, from here, notice that we're sort of in a little squat. My shoulders and back are still up. So I have a bend through the hip and bend through the knee. Come on, stay here for four more. We're going to keep this squat. And we're going to go back to those giant swings. But we're going to stay in the squat position. Ready? So keep that squat. So my center of my body is a little more. I'm not up here. I'm lower, but I'm dropping through my legs. I'm not hunched over. I'm not nice and tall. Good. And this is great because with bent knees and hips, you can get that far, far range of motion. This is where you can picture yourself going around that Olympic track, right? Her left to hurdle. I've never done it, but I think it must be something like this, right? Come on, big legs. Good. Push and pull, shoulders. And make sure those arms are working. 
happy. Sometimes I tend to let my legs just do work, but I have to remind myself, arms to push and pull. It's whole body, total body. Four to go. Stay low. Three, excellent job. Two, ready? A little football huddle, shuffle it out. Find that front bar. And you might need to have your hands here for balance. Again, your preference, you can be here, you can be here, or you may be able to shuffle here. Come on, focus in. Good job, good job. Come on, keep it behind that bar. Eight, good. Seven, nice, nice. Six, are you keeping it behind that bar? Come on, as you practice. That means you have to log all into your torso. Quick core strength, too. Come on, we've got it. Come on, one more step. Eight, good. Seven, is it tiny? It's like a standing flutter kick. Have you ever done freestyle in the pool? Come on, four to go. Come on, three more. Good. Two. All right, we are back to those band ribs. Little squat. Okay, keep that body low. Good job. Stride it out. I feel like you could be on that Hunter's team, right? Big legs. Good. Come on, eight. Eight. Seven. Good. Big legs. Six. Five. One more. Now we're going to go out for seven counts. 
seven, six, five, and four, and three, and two, one, and down. Now on this one, on that down, we are going to take advantage of that little rest. Three, two, one, a little breather right there, and then come back nice and strong. Come on, out of ranges. Three, two, one, and down. Good. Seven, six, five, and four, and three, and two, and one, and down. Now just get going for me. Again, all my little bag of tricks. I look at these two bars here that run over my feet and see if I can keep my feet outside them. Good job. Three more. Come on, stay out there. Six, five, find those bars. Keep them out there. Three, two, oh, we have two more. Come on. Shoulders are back. Stomach is in. Three, two, one. Bring it down. One more time. Come on, make it your best. Six, and five, and four, and three, and two, one. Now singles. Here we go. Sixteen. Fifteen. Come on, big swings. Fourteen. Shake them out a little bit. Thirteen. Keep going. Twelve. Good. Eleven. Feel those glutes tighten up. Out of five. Come on, eight more here. Eight. Good. Seven. Nice job. Six. Come on. Five. Out and in. Four. Three. Two. More. Set. Here we go. Come on. Because these are really fun. I mean, when we think about all this, nothing like working on those out of thighs and those glutes, right? Come on. Keep going. Four more. Good. Three. Two. Oh, yeah. This is our last set right here. Come on. Eight. Count down. Some people think it goes faster if you count backwards. Which is why I always count backwards. Keep going. Come on. Four. Out and in. Nice job. Three. Finish out. Two. One. And one. Good job. All right. So that was sort of the straight portion. We're going to bounce that out again. Come back to a regular stride. Line up your feet. Spread it out. We're going to play a little game I call high-low. Remember those big high strides? Keep your body tall for eight. Eight. Big swings. Seven. Good. Six. Rock your feet. Five. Come on. Rotate. Four. So this is the high part. Three. Two. Now take it low. Bend the legs again for that squat. Eight. Come on. Seven. Make sure there's a big difference between when you're high and when you come low. But it's big swings all the way. Three. Good. Two. You ready to come back up for that high? Let me see the difference. Come on. Seven. Rotate the shoulders. Whole body. Whole torso. Come on. Four more. Woo. Feeling good. Three. Two. And one. Take it low. Now if you're going along and you're thinking, you know, Sharon, I just can't keep going. Take the intensity down. Put your hands down. Come up to an easy stride. But if you can, four. Come on. Three. So maybe you can today, but you can tomorrow, right? Come on. One more time. Go back up high. Eight. Good. Seven. Big, big. Six. Rotate. Pull back. Don't forget to pull back through the elbow. Three. Excellent. Two. You ready? Drop down. Last time, row. Come on. This is a big stride. The knees bent. Hips lowered. Shoulders back. Come on. Four more. We are having some fun right now. Come on. Two more. Excellent. One more time. Good job. Strive for four. Woo. Let your breath come down. Good job. Two. Four more right here. Now, because we want to be even, because we want to be symmetrical, and let's be honest, because we like it, we're going to come and do the other side of those abduction. So turn so that your left side is towards your TV and towards me. Again, give yourself time. Do a nice foot swing there to make sure there's no obstacles. Okay? Here we go, out and in. Out and in. And this is the one we work hard on staying in motion. Our feet do not stop. They push out as far as you can. They come back in. Good. Woo. Out and keep them in motion. You're going to have to cross the bottom. 16 to go. 15. Good. 14. 13. Come down slow. If you're getting there before me, you need to slow down that descent. And that's a hard thing to do. 14. 
working eccentrically through the muscles. Eight to go. Come on. Eight. We can do it. Seven. If you needed to take a break, sit one out. Or come back for the next one. Or don't take them out so far. Four. Three more. Come on. All right. We're ready for the seven. Quick out and hold. Here we go. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring it down. Now remember, my own little fun game. Try to stay out beyond those poles. Three, two, one. Bring it down. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Good. Seven, six, five, four. Come on, are you up on those outer ranges? Two, one. We have four more. Concentrate. Stay with me. Each one you can do each day, you're stronger that day. Three, two, one. Come on. Keep going. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last two. Come on. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Remember, shoulders are back, stomach is still. And last one. Seven, six, five, and four, three, two, one. Singles right here. Four sets. Woo, this is a breeze after those holds out there. Six. Five, keep your balance. Four, weight centered right in between the feet. Three, excellent. Two, good job. It's like a little fan kick to the side. Eight, seven, six, good job, good job. Five, out and in. Four, concentrate. Three, big swings. Two, come on, third set right here, go. Eight, woohoo, seven, come on, out and in. Six, good job. Five, nice. Four, and three, and two. We have one last set right here. Come on. Eight. If you rested that last set, hop back up. Start those feet up again. Finish strong. It's a good accomplishment to get through this workout. Keep going. This is time for you. One and one. Good job. Come back to that center. Stride it out. Woo. All right, we're ready for our big finish. Big finish. Four, three. We're gonna do one more set of those high loads and then we're gonna take it down. Okay, so let me see it. Eight, good, seven. Good, so looking tight. Five, come on, come on, come on. Four, three. You should go, your flexibility's even improved at the end of 30 minutes. Good, take it lower. Eight. Good, seven, big legs, six, five, four, come on, three, two, let's go, one more set, come on, fall, eight, good, seven, remember we need that glute squeeze in the back, so not only press those legs forward, get in the back two, four, three, are your arms working, elbows pull in, one last set, take it down, come on, big legs, eight, seven, and boy, should you feel good right now, just about the end of our workout, four, come on, three, two, and one, excellent job, slow it down, stay here for a couple, let your breath recover, holding on, good job, so we really worked a lot of muscles today, arms, legs, back, abs, most importantly, your heart. Got a great flexibility workout. And we did it all in a nice, low impact format. How great is that? So squeeze in this workout when you can, right? Before those errands, before you go out, you can find 30 minutes. Good, last four right here, slowing it down. Four, you can even take it down to a little balanced stride. Three, Woo, breathe it out. Two, all right. One more here. All right, I want you to grab your towel, grab your water, and come back for a great stretch. Okay, you should be off your gazelle, and let's set up for that stretch. You're gonna face in, put your feet wider than shoulder width apart, so you can tight, and I want you to lean over towards me, one hand on your thigh, and one hand either here or here for balance, whoever's more comfortable for you. We're just gonna have your palm resting on there for balance. Don't pull, just balance there. Now you might be 
up higher. You might come in here. You may be able to come all the way down. Does not matter. It's wherever you start to feel the stretch. Two and one. Good shift sides. So put your other leg. Wait on that other leg. Take it over. And again, hand there just for balance. Good. Stay right there. For four and three. And it should feel good. Inner thigh stretch. Two and one. Good job. Come on up. Bring your feet in. We're going to put our feet underneath our shoulders. Take the foot closest to me, your left leg. Hold that ankle right in your hands. And we're just going to stretch right there. Stretch the front of the hip and the quadricep muscle down the front of your thigh. Now, if you're more advanced and you needed more stretch, you can come a little further forward. See, six and five. And we really need this one. We did lots of stretches, four, lots of hard work on the legs. Two and one. Good. Put that leg back. Push your heel to the floor. Left heel to the floor. Tuck your glutes under. Stay right there. For four and three. Good. And two and one. Good change sides. Take the leg away from me, away from your TV. Into that ankle, into the hands. Hold right there. Good. Four shoulders are back. Three and remember. We want to stretch a little more, but if you needed a little bit more, you could come further forward. Stay there. Four and three and two. Good. And then take that right foot back. Push the right heel to the floor. Again, make sure you only have a palm resting or fingers resting just for balance. If you needed more stretch, you would scoot that right leg back. Take three. Good. Take two and one. Good. Turn and face me. Let's put your left foot in front, and we're going to sit right back and stretch the back of that leg, hamstring muscles. Stay for four, stay for three, sit back, and again, you can be up here, or you can be a little lower. Stay there for four more. Good. So we'll stretch all the way down, two, and one. Come up, and change feet. Start holding on just for balance. Step that left foot back, body's tall. And sit back there. So don't push over. Keep yourself tall. Sit back like there was a stool there. And you're leaning back to sit on it. Stay two. Let's stay four more. Either up here again. You don't have to be as low as I am. Stay four. Stay three. Stay two. And one. And come up. Good job. Now take your hands right behind your back. We're going to clasp those hands in the back and pull down the back. Put the shoulder blades together. Stay right there. Pull down and back for four. And three, excellent. Two, and one. And one last stretch. Take off that left arm. You're going to drop it down to the opposite shoulder. Take that right hand and gently pull down on the elbow. That stretches out the triceps. We did a lot of pushing forward on that. Good job. We need to bounce that out. Two, and change sides. Right on down this time. Gentle pull. Good job. Stay for four more. It's four, and three, and two, and one. And carefully, hands down, take a breath. And I hope you feel as great as I do. It's a whole body workout, three or four times a week. See you back real soon.